This video is a demonstration only and is not a tutorial. In this video, I use cyanide and heavy metal salt to strip gold plated parts, and this can easily kill you. Do not do this at home. Stay safe and watch this video. The gold plated part that I have collected from about 2 kilograms of mobile motherboard circuit. Now I want to weight it to estimate better how much gold I can extract from this amount of gold plated part. I use my Balmin machine to break all glassy parts to increase chemical penetration into these parts. After filling the ball mill tank with the parts and steel bolts, it is ready to turn the machine on. After one hour, it's time to check the result out. It looks great and all the brittle parts are broken. To separate the parts, we need a magnet to collect all the steel bolts. This is the camera port and the glassy port is broken and turned to the powder. A nice gold plating. Afterwards, we should prepare gold stripping solution. First, I weight about 6 grams of sodium hydroxide. And we need trace amount of lead nitrate, mm, something around 150 milligrams. To make gold stripping solution, we need 2% concentration of cyanide. To make a 300 ml of sodium cyanide solution of 2% concentration, I weighed something around 6 grams of sodium cyanide. First I added lead nitrate and sodium cyanide. And lastly, sodium hydroxide, and give it a nice string to dissolve all salts. I pour the liquid to make sure all parts are covered. Stir it well to allow a stripping solution touch all the golden parts. As you can see gold start dissolving very fast. Very nice. This process needs oxygen. So I add a few drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide time by time to keep the reaction going. As you can see, after about 30 minutes, all gold dissolved. Now let's check out. Lightning angle isn't perfect here, but about 99% of gold plated part has been stripped. Anyway, I'm very happy with the result. I could also use nitric acid to dissolve base metals first and then collect the gold flakes. But in this method, I don't have to mess with all of those base metals. All parts are stripped properly and we don't need another run. To get cleaner solution, I decided to vacuum filtrate solution. After filtration and before adding the zinc metal to drop the gold, we need to check the pH. We need highly alkaline solution. pH is around 11 and it is good. 
I add some zinc powder to drop the gold. You may know this color change of solution while stirring the solution after adding zinc powder. Now we need leave the solution for one hour to settle down all the solid particles. Here we go, it is now ready to collect the sediment and going for another addition of metal powder. Sediment looks quite dark due to the zinc powder. For second reaction to drop remaining gold, I add excess sodium hydroxide to bring the pH of solution as high as possible. This time I'm using aluminum powder to drop remaining gold. As you see, the reaction is more intensive than zinc powder. This is some rains aid solution of dishwashing machine that can help with precipitating the particles are stuck on the top of the liquid. This is made of non-ionic surfactant. Give it a shake and let it settle down. This is the second and last sediment batch that we should collect. Afterwards, we should filter two sediment batches through a filter paper. When filtration done, we should boil this black dark sediment into the nitric acid to get a light brown color. This will dissolve all aluminum and zinc powder that gold stick to. Boiling concentrated nitric acid in presence of metals like zinc starts evolving poisonous fumes of nitrogen dioxide. So we need a good fume hood with a scrubber to trap all toxic fumes and prevent exhausting the fume into the environment. trying to remove filter paper while washing it with the water spray. You can see the liquid is getting lighter and lighter by passing the time. After several minutes of boiling, now it's quite light brown. I add some water to dilute acid down and let it settle down. Then I transfer liquid to a smaller beaker to prepare for evaporation. After complete sedimentation, this is how the gold powder looks like. To evaporate excess liquid, I start with low heat and gradually increase heat. This way I prevent liquid bumping and losing some gold. Here we go, the powder is dried and ready to melt. First I need to crush the powder that formed a crust. This is due to the insufficient washing that still some salt impurities remain with the powder. That's why we got hints of white in the brown and too much powder.
As you can see, we got too much molten salt because of impurities that I referred. And after about 10 minutes of heating, finally the gold bead shows up. It is not too much, but I think it was predictable for that amount of plated parts. Well, it is 0 0.07 grams of gold. And finally, this is how I dispose the cyanide waste. I've already added some aluminum polychloride to remove any contaminations like heavy metals to get a clean solution. I need the pH of solution to be around 11, so I can destroy the cyanide using bleach. This way cyanide turns into the cyanate. This is my waste container, I pour the liquid into the container to deliver it to the waste recycling company. It took too much experiment to finding out exact ratio of chemicals to strip gold in the shortest time. So it is appreciated if you give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please don't forget to press the subscribe button and stay tuned for more gold extraction videos thanks for watching